Hello and welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to be looking at Lara Fabian's All I Want for Christmas is You, the Mariah Carey um, song from the early, well, middle 90s, uh, that sort of is the song for the holidays. And this is Lara's version of this particular song. And uh, I'm very interested to hear this one because I believe this was somewhere around 2017 or 2018. So for those of you who have uh, commented um, about the auditory incident, this is actually a performance that happened after. So with that, I'm going to get this production started and uh, again, comment, timestamp, create conversations, um, be friendly, enjoy the time uh, that we spend together and make this your own little community. I'm going to speak during this, this production and then I'm going to give it all, I'm going to hand it back to you guys and you are going to continue the conversation in the comments and then anything that I miss, I know you guys are going to help me out with. So with that, I'm going to begin. Thank you. So I'm going to stop here. Um, love the guy's uh, little pajama ugly suit that he's wearing right there. That was really nice. Um, but also one of the things that I, again, really love about uh, Lara Fabian is that huh, when she sings soft and high. Now, for those of you who don't sing, it's not that easy to sing a, a very soft note in a high part of your voice. No matter if it's in falsetto or head voice or wherever it is, it's not easy to have the support necessary to hit that note. And and the fact that she does this on an ooh sound, a lot of this is like, ooh, 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 ooh. sorry about that. Um, it's not that easy. And and this is something that she is a master at. And, the, and I've said this in a lot of her videos, and I've said this in a lot of other performers that I, I've reacted to, is your ability to sing softly is the thing that will capture our attention. It draws us into the conversation. It draws us in because we, we have to lean forward to, to enter into that conversation because it, it's so soft. It's, it, we, we have to join you rather than you join us. And... I really appreciate that. And, and it's stuff that I always really enjoy doing. And, and like, I just, I really appreciate that. And, and I love how she does this. Wow. That is a saxophone. I have not seen one like that in a while. So I'm going to go back a couple of seconds and we're going to continue on. And, um, again, put your comments into the comment section and we will begin now. Is he So here I'm going to pause for a second and give a big shout out to the background vocalists, um, the, the little mini choir there. This song is really a great nostalgic piece. It, it has a very 1960s feel to it. And one of the things that makes it so is the background singers. And and um, the one and only time that I ever did this in karaoke is, uh, well, it was 100 years ago. And basically I sang it 
And every time the choir came in, I would forget what lyrics I was supposed to sing. I ended up singing the background vocals because I, I just did. For some reason, I just start singing the Oz and the the all that background stuff, and I I miss all the lyrics because that's how pivotal to the song it was for me. These background vocals, and I really appreciate that. Um, the interesting thing here, also at the end of this particular verse here, is you're going to notice that Lara um, does a does a, a vowel modification. So so she does ya yeah instead of you, where she did you in the first verse, and here she's opening it up and widening it out a lot more in this particular verse. It's just something that I, I notice um, singers do a lot to help make sure that there's enough space there. And um, I don't know if that's connected to anything else. I might have read that in one of the comments somewhere that since this is after that accident, um, she has to change some of her vowels. So um, with that, I'm going to go back a couple of seconds and then we're going to continue on. I want to point something out here about this particular song. And um, the reason you might have seen my 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 face scrunch up a little bit earlier is she she actually took a breath between brightly. And I the this song is a tricky song. I'm not. It sounds really fun and really light and really easy, but the lines in the song go on forever. And, And you heard this as as we finish this particular section here. Santa, won't you bring what I really, really need? And that that whole section there just has to be done. All in, it, there's nowhere to there's nowhere to breathe. It just continues on, and this song here has a tendency to catch up on you, like it 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 sneaks up on you in a lot of ways. And so I'm not, it it I don't know what the history of her in this song is because again, um, if she just had to learn it in like three days, I can imagine that this is not necessarily one. It's not an easy song to do, um, and it's. And again, it's it's trying to figure out where to breathe if you're if you haven't really mastered that whole thing because I know that that Lara is not she does not have problems with voc- like breath control or breath management, but again, this song here that's the other thing that I remember popping up when I was singing this song is I didn't know when to breathe. Like I was in choirs for fifteen years. And I, I couldn't figure out how to breathe at that particular point, which is which just sort of threw me um, because it, it it just keeps going. So anyway, um, again, I don't know what the background story of this is, because, again, I mean, it's it's a Christmas special. So, you know, it might have just been, hey, here's a song for you. And and I think this would be a good song for you. And, and here it is. And so um, I'm going to back up a section and a little bit and then we're going to continue on. But I just wanted to point that out because. Um, when I heard, heard her take a breath in the middle of brightly, I was like, I, I, I took a pause and then I started realizing that the song has a lot of phrase management. It, it's, it's graduate level phrase management. Let me just put it that way. So I'm going to just continue on.
So uh, this is All I Want for Christmas is You by Lara Fabian. And again, here's it's an interesting um, contrast to see her sing after that incident because there's some things that you notice in this particular song. Now, the breath management control thing also might have to do with the fact that when you get nervous, your your lungs and all of these muscles, no matter how well trained you are, you're gonna you're, they're gonna act on their own because the nerves, your nervous system works on its own. It's it's autonomous. It's it's separate from you. So I'm I'm interested to see what your take is on this particular song. That that's how I interpreted it, um, because I know that she has been trained so well that this these issues can be more about nerves than about technique because she doesn't have bad technique. Um, so just let me know what your, your comments are in, in down below. Um, if you have anything else that you want to hear from me regarding Lara Fabian, and if there's anything more that you want to add to the story behind this, let me know. Um, and with that, I'm going to let you guys go and you guys enjoy your day wherever you are in space and time. And as always, be safe. Thank you.